All right, welcome everybody. We are here in Las Vegas. Sometimes people call it Las Wages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am here with Saul Ortiz, the creator of what's the name of your vodka? It's Zul. It's Shuel. Zul. Zul. Zul vodka. That's cool. How'd you come up with that name? Well, we're we're trying to be creative with the name in the bottle, so we want the bottle's perspective. So Zul backwards, it's Lux Al Ux. Lux means in Latin the light, so the light within the bottle. Our bottle has a light within. I see that. It's something else. We have a mask on. So some of our events that we have. Kind of um, uh, masquerade-ish, Mardi exactly, gras -ish. Exactly. And guess what? When you have a mask, who, what tells your soul? Your eyes. That's true. Right? So your eyes are the light within your soul. So the, that's what Lux means in, in Latin. I, li I like the backstory of that. Thank that's, you. That's, 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 a lot of people don't even, probably even are aware of that I, I wasn't no 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 it, it's a story it goes to the mysterious of the bottle it's 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 lux and you would think well, it's not lux it's zool it's a pretty cool bottle i like it, it you know the with the whole mask and uh, the way it lights up and i mean it it will definitely like stick out on the shelf amongst all other vodkas that's for sure a absolutely and if you notice the bottle it has swarovski jewels on the front of it and it has one piercing on the lip. So girls really like that. You know, you get some tough guys, eh, it's kind of a girlish bottle. But tell you what, when your girlfriend or your wife wants that bottle, you're gonna buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. So have you always been uh, kind of a vodka connoisseur or a lover of vodka or just one day you decided, you know what, I think I'm, 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 I'm gonna go for my own vodka brand. No, I, it didn't happen that way. I wish I, I could say it happened that way, but uh, I write business plans, and I wrote business plans for a client of mine who got circumvented. So I said, wait a minute, you're a multi-million dollar company now selling this tequila from a company that I created, wrote the business plan and got it funded, and it's you know, very successful. Why not do it myself? Now let me create a concept that the world could enjoy because if you look at most bottles, it's a boring bottle. This mm -hmm. bottle is patent. It's patent. So we have a patent on the bottle and it's trademark. So there's then we put a story behind the bottle mm -hmm. and it's the hottest thing right now. I mean as you can see tonight, every bar has probably twenty bottles on their shelf. And yeah. From what I heard tonight, two bottles got lifted from my table already. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to check my bag. <laughs> no, we'll give you one. We'll give you one. You're a good man. You are a good man. Uh, Saul is going to get a pod, brother, a, 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 a bottle of vodka. And, I, and it's, it's smooth. I tasted it, man. It's yeah. butter. It's butter. It's, well, let me tell you about that. It's six times the still. Now, sometimes you hear vodka being distilled eight times. Put that a little closer because we got some, some... Okay. Sometimes you hear about vodka being still distilled eight times, 12 times, 20 times, 80 times. It's all a gimmick. After six times, you're just brewing alcohol. Okay? So what we've done is not only have we distilled it six times, which is the maximum, mm -hmm. the guy that engineered the system behind it to extract what are called cognitures, Cognitures are the poisons that give you the vomiting and the headache, right? That's why a lot of girls don't like to drink vodka because they start throwing up, get a headache. With our vodka, there's no hangover. We've extracted the cognitures from the vodka mm -hmm. by shooting oxygen, CO2 in it, hitting it with electronic sound waves, and then guess what? We, we, we siphon the pure vodka. That's why when people drink it, they say, oh my gosh, this is smooth. I, I thought vodka had a hard taste to it. Well, normal vodka does, and because we had a technology behind it we're the one of the leading companies with our distillery that could make that claim that's awesome and it's it's smooth and you you don't have that kind of that, that hangover kind of no, no not you know, at all that yeah. it's just pure yeah not at all it's very very pure and it's corn based sweet corn gluten free and guess what it's even kosher it's even kosher you have made some it's, kosher vodka it's some kosher vodka so, right when i thought you see <laughs> I mean, come on. They, they thought about all of it, man. Still, the still six times is kosher, is smooth. It don't make you throw up, and then you won't have that hangover effect. Man. That's what you, I'm talking about. You, you, you thought of it all. Yes. And you know what? I'll, we even took it a step further because we know the vodka is going to be good and great when you drink it. But one of our tagline is, you know, drink regal, drive responsible. Because we know you're going to enjoy this so much, but hey, 
Drink Regal. Mm -hmm. Drink Regal mm -hmm. and drive responsible. That's important to us as a company. That's cool. That's very cool. Have you um, have you done your uh, like commercials and videos, infomercials? Have you have you ha do you have any kind of uh, uh, of like spots that are running on on, on TV or you know, on the online anywhere? Or? We did some stuff with TMZ. We had Molly Mall supporting a bottle up, up in his uh, Bugatti. You know, he, <laughs> he he gave us a good t uh, shot there, and we've been on the uh, the, the shots of Sunset. Uh, the Maloose Daughters had our bottle. Uh, it's at Villa Blanca in Beverly Hills. Uh, we won the, the Vegas Gold Award for the uh, WSWA uh, Wine and Spirits Convention. Mm -hmm. It's held here every year, every other year. We won gold. But in addition to that gold, we won double gold in Beverly Hills. So we, we've, we, we've uh, as far as commercials and things, we've had some commercials. If you go on our website at www zulspirits.com you can see some of the shows that we've been in mm -hmm. and uh, we do have a little clip for people that know me that want to send me a, 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 an email to uh, uh, zul at zulspirits.com I could send them one of our commercial videos nice um, one, uh, one of the things that I do as you can see here is, is, is live streaming live podcasting but YouTube since June has now allowed us to, to go live, to do live awesome. YouTube videos. Cool. So one of the reasons why I'm here uh, for this event is to go live now. I don't have access to uh, the internet or Wi-Fi in this particular section of the lounge. Right. Um, and I wasn't aware of that till I got here, but I'm going to upload this later. But uh, my point is, if you're doing a live Zool event, sure, you can go on YouTube live. Do you have a YouTube channel for your... Um, I'm not sure how all that side of the technology works, but we do have a YouTube uh, page, I guess, uh -huh. if you will. And uh, our video that I was talking about earlier is on the YouTube. On the YouTube. Yeah. Well, I would like to be instrumental in, in uploading some live Absolutely. Zool events. Uh, and, you know, I could just come in just like you see here, tap in, and then just go live with whatever it is that you're doing. Sure. And, and we got to give a disclaimer, of course. If you want to work with Zool, you got to be prepared to have a good time. And that's a very good disclaimer. You got to twist my arm for that disclaimer. <laughs> and as you can see here, the crowd's great, and you know, the, we are we, we proud ourselves in a brand that we just want to get everybody drunk. We want mm -hmm. everybody to enjoy their vodka, mm -hmm. you know. And and the vodka so sweet. And it's like I said, we're here having a great time, and. Uh, like I said, once, once you drink that vodka, you're like, my gosh, that is great. And you have, um, do you have a strategy for like any like bar promotions, lounge promotions, bring in some, some hot girls, do some sampling? Like, do you have any kind of strategy that you have in motion for how you like to do some branding in club, bottle service? Or? That's a good, very good question. And right now we're talking to several different uh, club promoters that want to bring our bottle in there because uh, I'll send you a video, but one of our vid videos, uh, our bottle light that we have pulsates to the beat of the music. So nice. the DJs love it. Nice. Because as, as they take the bottle down to that bottle service, the bottle's pulsating. Very, very cool. That's clever. And so we're getting a lot of calls, but we, what we want to do as a company to make sure that we're sound. You know, let's we're crawling right now. So our next steps, we're going to start walking real quick here, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, but our 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 ultimate goal is to make sure that we have a quality brand, a quality marketing concept, because there's so many liquor companies that are out there trying to make a name for themselves. I don't want to mention any names, but they're multimillionaires, mm -hmm. and because they have the money, but they don't have a marketing campaign or a bottle. I mean, there's so many vodkas out there. There's so many tequilas out there. But our package, along with our vodka, makes it a pioneer in the, in the category. Mm -hmm. Now, this was enough. This was a film event tonight, a documentary film about the, the the beret. Are you looking at doing more film festivals, film events, film marketplaces uh, to to market and maybe do some product placement in some films? Because I know you look at a lot of movies you'll see a Budweiser can or you'll sure. see you know some kind of product placement of some spirits wine or beer I'll tell you what since this is the first interview I'm gonna give you an insight we just landed a, a, a 25 million dollar film that they put me in the executive producers for Zool were in there and the the gentleman that wrote it fell in love with the bottle I was away he couldn't reach me 
and he had a time to rewrite the script with the bottle. And when I got back, he said, I got to talk to you. I go, okay. He goes, I just wrote Zool into the script. I said, well, that's cool. He says, you don't understand. I had to spend $36,000 to write Zool into the script. <laughs> I said, give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. <laughs> but Zool will be starting to film. Uh, this movie is called Back Home. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, 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 uh, the main executive producer is John Winston. Great guy. And uh, I can't wait to uh, start filming the first quarter. That's awesome. You know, um, I would love to be behind the scenes when they're filming and do some, maybe some interview oh, with sure, the cast absolutely. and the That'd be director, great producer, or, you know, the, you know, some of the crew. You know, um, that's one of the things that I've been wanting to do with this whole live thing. I, it helps promote and create a little bit of buzz for the film too. Sure, sure. To sure. kind of, be, you know, just kind of be on the lot behind the scenes, talking to the grip or the sound guy sure. or. You know, hanging out with uh, McConaughey in his trailer <laughs> between scenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's very cool. That, that would be that would be very cool. Absolutely, well, we'll do that for you. And is it uh, is this a, a, a comedy film, action, romance? What's the genre? <laughs> well, glad you asked. Back home is about a, uh, from what I understand, is that a young guy was a DJ, made it to the top, right? Multi millionaire, the Bugattis, the Rolls Royces, the Ferraris. Then he's back home. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So he's kind of a shot up like a rocket, only to reality sometimes brings you back home. Yeah. And you know what? What better place to be than back home sometimes? Yeah. Because a lot of times we lose it out there. And stability is with mom and dad. Mm-hmm. So uh, you, you got a way to uh, at least read the script. That's it's very very cool. I would I would love to. But I uh, I DJ back in college. My son's a DJ now, so we're very very dialed into that community. So that would be a film I would love to. And what's so nice get about it? With. Absolutely. What's nice about it is the locations are in clubs. Oh and yeah. And there's bottle service. Yeah. So that's where he wrote yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, bottle no, into totally the club. Get it. Totally get so it. So I'm like, oh my god. Totally get what it. A, what a perfect what yeah. a perfect marriage here. That is there a, was one. That is a perfect marriage. Absolutely. Yeah, I have, uh, like, my show here, what we're doing now, is the Pod Brother. Okay. So, and I'm a stand-up comedian of 30 years, so, you know, my whole thing was just, I, I did Comedy Stop at the Trop, I did all the cruise ships, I did clubs. Right on. Tours, corporate gigs, and, uh, you know, wrote for some sitcoms and some short films, and I now direct and produce, but the Pod Brother Live YouTube is where my focus is now. That's all you so, know. All right. all my... My expertise in, in film and comedy and, and DJing is all goes into here. A lot of the music that I use comes from original DJs okay. that, uh, and, and, and you know, and maybe we can use some of the music from the film sure. into the podcast. Absolutely, to kind of pre-promote the film mm-hmm. and That's those DJs idea. and and uh, so one of the shows that I'm doing uh, is is. DJ Pod Brothers, my DJ handle, if you will. Okay. And basically, that is just interviewing DJs about the history of DJing and house music okay. and mixing and remixing. Right on, right on. And, you know, it's, it's basically about the culture of DJ music and club. Okay. And I would love to, you know, tie that in with, uh, you know, with a- your film project. A- absolutely. What I'll do is we're, you're in L.A. I'm in L.A., yeah. Well, we're, we're going to be in Malibu, probably meeting next week with the with the uh, film executive producer. So uh, let me see how that meeting goes. I'll invite you down and That'll be great. do an introduction, and maybe we could do some business together. That would be awesome. Right on. That would be awesome. Right on. And uh, I could be your social media YouTube artist. Absolutely. Man. You know? Absolutely. Like, no matter where you are, the cool thing about how I'm set up is I could be anywhere in the world, and I can go live oh, like okay. that. That's, 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 you that's great. You could call me and say, hey, Steve, we are in South Miami Beach. Right on. I got my iPhone. Can we go live right now? And I'll be like, sure. I'll turn on my switcher. I'll patch your iPhone into my audio, into my switcher. And then I can conduct the show. And then I can fly you in on wow. one of my channels on your phone. Wow. Wow. That's, so that's anywhere in the art. world. So if you happen to be with a celebrity in Ibiza, or let's say you're promoting a film in Paris, okay. and I happen to be in New York, you know, doing a Pod Brother in Times Square for the film, we can go live on, right on YouTube from where you are in Ibiza and from where I am in New York. Oh, that's cool. That's like, cool. I'm talking, hey, Kimbro, 
like I'll probably need 15, 20 minutes to get the gear and sure, plug sure, it in and sure. get online. But in 15 minutes to be able That's to quick. do, That's you quick. know, a visa in New York live with the Pod Brother and you know, right on. It's it's that's kind of how I set this up. So I knew YouTube was going live a year before they were going to go live. Because I go to the Cannes Film Festival okay. and they have panels and they're always talking about internet and live streaming and what's next and YouTube right, right. and content. Sure. And uh, when they announced that they were going to be able to stream live, I started doing some homework on how I would be able to do it, but with immediate access. Okay. And as a result, this yeah. is what I've been able to put together. Yeah, you get Austin set up. And 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 it's it's awesome. Yeah. And it, well, the magic is, it's just I can pull the trigger on going live. That's great. Like instantly. That's great. Yeah. That's so great. With what you're doing in your film and your vodka and what I'm doing, we can create some really cool social media sizzle. Sure. But as it happens. Oh, that's awesome. If you think it, and you know, you are there and you have an iPad or an iPhone or an Android, you can Skype it back to me, FaceTime it back to me, okay. you can Google Plus it back to me. Right on. And it's just like with CNN. You in Beirut, I'm in, I, I'm in New York, and we're, like, I hear you. we're going back and forth. I hear you. Okay, that sounds so, good. So, you know, I'm, I'm saying that just so that as you're coming up with ideas on how to promote the film, how to promote the vodka, being involved in these sexy events you know wherever you are sure if you all of a sudden get a ping about an idea about hey you know what this is really cool we're at a sexy boat show they're you know showcasing the vodka sure let's go let's go live right now sure sure but all I want to know is why you got a better mic and better headset because I'm the pop no, brother I, I <laughs> <laughs> I got to sound good, baby. I got to sound good. No, I'm messing with you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, I hear you. Well, I'm going to let you get back to the party because I know okay. you got a lot of mingling and, and uh, you know, there's some great guests here and yes, stuff. But I, great crowd. I, I, I'm excited to meet you. And, Thank you. And uh, the vodka is great. And, Thank you. Uh, the pod brother will definitely. Support. Right on. Let's do it. Yeah. All We're right. Man. All right. Thank you. There you go. We will be back. And, uh, Solar Tees. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye.